During our Farm Basics time today, we want to discuss why farmers put fertilizer out in the fall when they're not going to plant the crop until spring. Well, you know, we're out in some corn stalks here, and just before we were filming today, we we're actually putting some fertilizer out in this field, getting ready for next year. And I thought, you know, this field is a great example of why farmers put on the plant nutrients in the fall that they're going to use with their crop in the spring. Yeah, let's start right there. When we talk about fertilizer, I really kind of hate to use the word fertilizer because a lot of people think negatively of the word fertilizer. Let's put it in these terms. Plant food. Okay, we just applied plant food out here that our crop needs to grow next year. If we don't apply this plant food now, our crop, I mean, it'll still grow next year, but it, to some degree, on some days, it's going to starve a little bit. It's going to be begging for more food. <laughs> it doesn't have enough unless we apply some right now. Well, there are several ways to put plant food on a, in a field. You can put it on in a liquid form. Uh, you can put it on with manure or animal waste. You can put it on uh, in a dry pellet, and that's how we did it in this particular field. In the case of the fertilizer we're using today, it's primarily phosphorus fertilizer, which is a primary nutrient that our plants need. So we're putting it on with dry pellets. You need some moisture to get it off the pellet, to get it into the soil, and then eventually into the plant. Or to get that pellet to dissolve. Basically, I mean, it doesn't just happen instantly. So this plant food that we put out here, one of the reasons why we put it out in the fall is so it gets more time to weather, basically, and for that little granule to dissolve. One other thing that you'll note in this particular field now, we're putting fertilizer on in the fall on a field where we know we'll be able to plant in the spring. It's not a field where we're prone to flooding or, or where we may have concerns that we might not get the crop in. You can see in the background there's a nice hill and, and it's a rolling hill. It's a well-drained field. So we know for sure we'll get in early and get the crop that we want planted in that field. So we will definitely use those plant nutrients. Well, but even if we didn't, the yeah. soil is a big storehouse. It is a storehouse, especially for nutrients like phosphorus and potassium. Phosphorus in particular, it barely moves in the soil. So in other words, if I go down into that soil, I dig down and I place my phosphorus, let's say four inches or six inches deep. On our farm, we even place some phosphorus down 10 or 12 inches deep in some of our fields. If I put it there, it's going to sit there basically until a crop uses it up at some point or until Darren lets some weeds grow and they'll no, use no, it up. No, 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 no weeds. So, so anyway, with this phosphorus, the point is it does not move very much in soil. The only way phosphorus really moves is let's say we lay it on top and we don't work it in. And if we were to get big rains and we had soil erosion that took the soil and everything along, that would carry the phosphorus along with it. So that's why in most of our fields, we place the phosphorus a little deeper so we don't have to worry about it. And also we know that phosphorus basically is not moving. It can only move down in the soil, in most soils, an eighth of an inch or a quarter inch per year, that's it. So we have to be real careful as farmers where we place that phosphorus. But once we get it in the soil, it's basically sitting there until something uses it. The other two major nutrients that plants need are potassium, which really doesn't move very much in the soil, kind of like the phosphorus. So that's very safe to put on in the fall. And the other one would be nitrogen. It's a major nutrient, especially for the grass crops like corn and wheat. Nitrogen will move in the soil, so we don't typically put much nitrogen out at all on our farm in the fall. We like to use that a little closer to when the plants will be growing in the spring. Yeah, we want to make sure when we're placing these plant foods out there that the only thing that's going to get them is the crop and we're not going to lose them, we're not going to have them go somewhere else in the environment, because that would simply be wasting our money and wasting our time. So we're trying to place these nutrients late in the fall or early in the spring. We plant the crop early in the spring. The crop uses those nutrients the next year. It's a great system all the way around. So putting plant nutrients out in the fall is okay. Just have to make sure your weed control is good so weeds like our Weed of the Week don't use them up. Can you identify this week's weed? 